All right. Hello and welcome back to me just playing through games that I wanted to get done this year. Basically just short, maybe smaller games, little indie games I just never got around to. This is actually one that weirdly I was really looking forward to and I just, I, I don't know what happened or what I was playing at the time. I'm pretty sure it came out when I had a pile of reviews to go through. I had like five reviews back to back to go through. Um, and I, so I just never got around to it. So here we are at the end of the year. It's, uh, my hair. It's, uh, the end of November. And I'm getting through it because I'm going to be traveling home for the holidays and all of December, basically. So I'm not going to have my computer for a month, which means no streams, means no recording. So basically I'm squeezing in everything before I can go. Um, and this video will be going up like after Christmas, so it'll be like a month out from when I actually recorded it, but let's just get in here. Uh, it seemed like a cool little action, is it, oh my god, like, action RPG? Action RPG, isometric action RPG, now arriving at Reaping Commission Headquarters, end of the line, Sharon the bus driver. Sharon! Here we are. Oh yeah, I love that. I love that black and white with the, the neon red over it. Assuming we can't fall off. I okay. I was I was certainly wrong about that. Okay. What about over here? There's a phone booth. Let's turn into Superman. Inspect. Click. Seems like the phone isn't connected to anything. Okay. So, oh, so oh, LT. LT does this. RT does a charge attack. Um, how do we shoot this? RB. How do we recover arrows? Because I see there's two white diamonds that we use. Not diamonds, but... I guess diamonds. I heard um, good and bad things about this game. I heard that in general it was good. Um, some people maybe said it was great, but nobody nobody said it was like amazing, like I hoped it would be. Um, but you know what? That's just fine. Fuck, ain't got no souls, ain't got no shinies, ain't got no worries. <laughs> I feel you, brother. I feel you. Oh. Pick it off his clothes. Gone to fix a broken pipe back in three to four years, management. Right, well, they are, they are efficient, if, if nothing else, around here. Yeah, you're clear. Move it along, bud. Thanks. <laughs> it doesn't care at all. Okay. I think it's quite clear how apathetic these people are. All of Dawes, Reaping Commission Headquarters. Everything looks kind of derelict. Better get moving. Don't want to be late, right? True, true. What, late for what? A very important date? Statue? <clears throat> of this guy that we're seeing everywhere with like a key head. We're seeing on posters and stuff, right? Looks like down here the wall is also blocked. But maybe we can... Yeah! I guess not. Alright, we'll be coming back there later, I suppose. And where that guy is as well. Oh. Well, 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 Chandler the Handler said. Look who showed up for work. No worms for you, because only the early bird catches. Never mind. Anyways, you your lucky day. I have a soul for you to reap. And not just any soul. A giant soul. Think of the commission on that. Hope you haven't forgotten your training. Stay on your talons. Giant souls don't often go peacefully. Dropping in your door for you now. Oh, it's like Monsters, Inc. They're going to use like a... Yeah. <laughs> a door to, open to get through somewhere else. It is. With a soul that size, you might even be able to afford some time off. But remember... Your door will remain open until you return with your designated soul. While your door is open, you will be mortal and you will age, so get it done quickly. Oh, that's interesting. You act... Not just that you're mortal, but you age as well. Reaping souls to power doors just so we can reap more souls and the cycle repeats forever. The rat race, eh? Anyway, get to it. If you die, it's going to be a lot of paperwork and I don't have the time. That's funny, though, because as... Um... So these people that, you know, work until the end of time, I would assume. Uh, you can only work until you get old. Uh, because you're going to age a little bit by little bit in the door. Or die. 
and then you'll have a desk job like these guys, I guess, forever and ever. I love typing, can't get enough of it. Alright, I guess let's just go and reap a soul, but I, I do want to explore a little bit, like, knowing what I'm dealing with down here. So far, I like the idea that it has some, you know, we're going to be coming back to this place over and over, no doubt, and there is some places, Metroidvania style, where I want to go down there. Oh, I can already see some shiny stuff, but that it's not so big that it's unnerving to me. Oh, an umbrella. You found a discarded umbrella. It's just the thing to keep your feathers dry in grim weather. You can equip it from the weapons menu. Okay. Over the red sword of doom. Weapons. So, times one, times three, 2.504. Times 0 0.5, times three, 2.5, 0 0.4. Um, an umbrella is probably not very useful in combat, but it will keep your feathers dry in bad weather. So it is exactly half as good as the sword that we have now. Um, maybe that's something to make the game harder. Uh, personally, having a weapon that just does less damage isn't making the game harder. It's just making the game more annoying for me personally to have to drag out maybe long fights to be even longer. Um, I'm not going to do that. I prefer enemies to have new patterns and trip me up, you know. Require me to just do better instead of just fight for longer. Oh, the grove of spirits. Hey, what well, these guys look pumpkins in my head. <gasps> Little cuties, are they? Hello, come follow me. Ah, oh, you can all follow me. All of you can follow me. Oh, I scared them. I didn't kill that guy, did I? Come on, guys. You can come with me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. My little orange heads. Oh, they're so cute. I wonder if I need you for anything. Can I roll slash over here? Ah, no. It is just about this. Ah, it wants me to do it with my arrow, not my uh, slash. I see. Yeah. All right, I still only have... Oh my God, these guys are awesome. Yeah. And now we've opened it up from the beginning again. I don't know why they're all running away. Come on, guys. Little buddies. I don't know why I'm collecting them. It's probably accomplishing nothing. You look like the person. Is this another boss rush game then? Like Eldest Souls? It seems like it is. We're already fighting a boss, is what, as far as I can tell. As far as I can tell, also. Is she going to start moving with us? Yep. As far as I can tell also, um, I'm getting my charges for my bow back by attacking, just by straight attacking. Did I actually got hit? Because I think my health is orange now. Yep, yeah, one per hit. She looks like she's going down, to be honest. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I have to hit the legs. Yep. Yeah. This leg. Hey, and then she fell. That wasn't the end of it, was it? It's, ooh, it was. Okay. Little tutorial boss. Very weak. Maybe the umbrella wouldn't have been such a bad move. No, there we are. The real boss, Giant Crow. We took his bounty. He's going to steal his friggin' soul. <gasps> as little friends. Aww. Thanks, guys. Uh, I've got to go though now. You can come with me if you want. So this guy just stole our friggin' bounty. Making pay for that. Lost Cemetery Forbidden Region. Alright.
Okay. Slash. Burbs. There he is, the little douchebag. Coming for you, sir. Thank you, cool. Hey, alright. You collected a life seed. Planting one of these in the green pot will yield soul fruit, which can be soon to sort your health. Okay. Well, my health is still orange. I didn't heal up. I think that's my health, but anyway, it looks like four hits. I believe I got hit once. And I, I didn't even find that obvious, to be honest, so... I have to be really careful about taking hits. If we're not even realising when we are. There's a key, key wall. That looks like it could be a monster. It's not, it's just a headless dude. Door activated, okay. Okay, these all look like monsters. What are you? You're a little soul. Plus 100, you collected a massive soul on you. You can spend the whole of doors on Reaper upgrades, right? Yeah, so it's, it's action RPG, as I, as I assumed it was. But you don't attack me, so I'm assuming you're not bad, so I'm not going to attack you either. Don't know why I would. Um. Again. Oh, we jumped down. That was nice. So we open that door. Not sure where it takes us. I assume back to the Hall of Reapers or whatever. Oh, you're a monster, though. So it is. There is a. Ah, oh, he's even like he's part of a lock system. I kill all three of them. Okay. Are you a are you a bad guy? Yeah, you are. So when the headless, uh, the nice. But as soon as they get ahead, they're total total douchebags. One seed. Consume. Yeah. Alright. But then that's the green thing gone. Which is scary. Alright, I think we need to go back. Because I don't want to go past that door. And should I kill these then? I mean, they are harmless, but I guess I get souls from them. Um, so I shouldn't let them live. If they would attack me, if they had a head, I feel like that's... That's enough for me to be able to go out and murder them. This way to the summit. It's maybe not the bravest thing to do, but um, the most noble thing to do. But what are you, what are, what are you gonna do? All right. I guess we hit that to that open. We're gonna get a key unlock. It requires a key. All right. All right. Back to the Hall of Soul Reapers, or whatever. Ah. Little crow, do I sense a glut of soul energy? Come here and you can trade in those souls to gain an edge in combat. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Let's get, let's see what, let's even just see what the upgrades are. Welcome to the Soul Vault. Would you like to increase your combat abilities? Strength? So just damage. Um... Uh, charge their melee and range attacks faster. Increase the speed at which melee attacks can be chained together. I do like that. Um, by the way, these are 400, so we don't have enough yet. But speed and grace of movement. Okay. Greater base speed. Faster dodges and less cool time in between. I also really love that. Um, raising this will increase the damage done with magic spells and ranged abilities. We actually don't have any magic spells right now, but we do have ranged ability, obviously. Hey, buddy. Oof. You lost your assignment? That's rough, buddy. You've been so quiet the past few years. Oh, no. Advances in medicine or something. I expect so annoying. We need a new plague. I'm gonna go broke. Well, wasn't this a perfect year to come out? Well. <laughs> Could have come out last year as well. Still going. Ugh. It's gonna be very weird to travel home. Uh, at Christmas, because the UK seems to be pretty much done with lockdown and stuff, uh, whereas Kim and I have still been... I think we've been, we've been letting ourselves out a little more. To be honest, lately, but... But still, we've been pretty good, I think. Oh, my little buddies are here. Hey, guys. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll be back in a second. When we open that door, don't worry. First, I'm going to chomp, 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 chomp these guys. I really want to get you with this. 
Seems to do the same damage as my sword right now. Alright. So this one down here just doesn't open. It's fine. Hey, buddy. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna climb up here, so... I don't think you're able to follow me. Aw. You are very cute, though. I'm going to this door. So this is gonna be a deathless run of this game. <laughs> That's a challenge. That's a good challenge. Oh my god. There we go. Three, three, one, two, three, like, kills these guys instantly. So no issue with that right now. These guys are a single hit, so no issue with that right now. Uh, one, two, three. You took a bit longer, yeah. Oh, because that depends on if I hit you when you're down or on your mask. So it's still one, two, three on the body, but the mask is a different story. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, see, we hit him when he, on his body. And... Oh. And that should be one hit, yeah. Oh! He hit me. Ooh, he got hit again, then. Get me out of here. I'll have to go heal after this. No, Gillian down is down. Alright, so we had a little bit of a combat area. That was nice. Not too challenging. But we're really just learning... How these enemies work. Alright, so we need to lift this up. Okay. Um, so it's kind of one, two, three hits. Uh, and even if I hit them with an arrow and then hit them twice, it was still three hits, which leads me to believe it's the same damage one. But it's just three hits, but with anything. Right now. That's good to know. Usually ranged attacks are uh, weaker, but that's good to know because we can back off and still be doing some decent damage. Ugh. Ah, Reaper. My time in this world is over. What does that mean, buddy? I'm not going to kill you, am I? I have to... Hmm, unfortunately, I'm still alive. Sorry, maybe if you try hitting me with a harder attack. But I don't... Ugh. Hmm, no, still here and very much alive. Perhaps try a bit of a run-up. Oh, interesting. I'm sorry, it's not your fault. It happens to everyone. I'm afraid I am burdened with unending life. I can't explain and I have spent untold years seeking an answer. My name is Steadhorn, like Stonehead. I am Keeper of Graves on this sacred mountain. Oh, and if you do find yourself strengthened somehow, please feel free to try and kill me again. I mean, I don't want to, but if you really, if you want me to, I'll try for you, but feel bad. Here lies a guardian of the door, a preserver of order, and a home to stray souls. I like how fast this, this, oh, I do that a lot, don't I? I like how fast this game has put us into the game. No, hey, you're a reaper of souls, and this is your job, you've got to do this. We've got 12 souls to go find, because we need the soul orbs to restore the civilization, and uh, you, you just nonsense backstory that I can't even appreciate because I have no context. I really need to be careful because I don't want to die and I've only got one hit left. Um, I should probably have gone back to heal but uh, I'm also kind of lazy like that. If I find a green pot I'd really appreciate it. This way to the summit. Ah, that's where the guy was. He walked over the top of us, remember? So we don't want to go that way right now. We'll go up that left here. Uh, what's in here? Inspect. A simple structure has a twin. A hidden secret lies within. Ah. Interesting. We need to get up there somehow. This way to Stranded Sailor. Hmm. Is it kind of a Metroidvania? Oh, up here. Is, is it kind of Metroidvania style then where uh, we need to come back when we have different powers and whatever? Green Pot would be 
seriously much appreciated. Ooh. Ooh, ma. Now we have enough to actually get an upgrade. Which upgrade are we going to get first? Honestly, for me, dodge rolling first. Uh, everything else is secondary. I would like to be able to dodge more often. Dodge more often and... Uh, is that where that guy's going to go into that grave? Is that the simple structure? Where is the structure? Twin structure. A simple structure has a twin. A hidden secret lies within. Hey, there's a green pot. And I will consume. Thank you. I don't know how many seeds I have. I guess it's in my inventory, but it's not like on my, uh, in my immediate UI. Immediate HUD. We need, like, some gems to go up there or something. Yeah, so it does seem... Metroidvania-ish, but not like super like puzzly mazy kind of thing. It's more open. <clears throat> more open. Uh, and what do I mean open? I mean it's not like little chambers. Um, I'm saying it's just like an open area. It's pretty simple. Uh, simple to follow. Not too mazy. Maze-like. Oh, this is where we saw the guy going across. I can't wait to beat him up. So where does this lead? Ah, back to the door here. That's good, because we'll go back and get an upgrade real quick then. There's a green plant down there. But once you, once you um, have planted a seed, you can keep going a heal there. It keeps going back, which is interesting. I'm just, yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. Dodge roll. I would love to buy this upgrade. Thank you very much. It's not going to be immediately obvious how good that is. Maybe we need like another upgrade or two before we can feel it, really feel it. But uh, knowing it's there, it's good enough for me. Being able to dodge out of the way of enemy attacks is great. I mean, yeah, doing more damage means combat's over with faster. But taking less damage, you know, I can do damage over time. You know, even if it takes me twice as long, I can do the damage as long as I'm not getting hit. So focusing on, on dodging more is probably better for us. Found a little hidden area down here. Let's, let's go see. Ooh, underneath. Hello, pray at the shrine. Don't mind if I do. What is that? A shard from a vitality crystal. I can fall will raise your vitality beyond its limits. Ah, it did look like an entire vitality thing. Um, Alright, so we've got one of four. Classic, classic. We'll get like... We'll get um, four of those and maybe four of another thing and that'll raise how many times we can shoot or whatever. Yeah, these like blue walls. We need to, we need to remember them. Why don't you come over here and smash into here so I can chop you up? Thank you. All right, go on here. Yep. Chop you, and then chop, chop, chop. Got you just in time. All right. This is nice, nice and calm. This I like this a lot. This is uh, nothing too crazy. It's, uh, the design and everything, it's just, it's nice. It's plain and simple kind of thing. Nice, I got, pulled it off. Um, we don't need this green pot right now. We won't plant a seed there, we're not going to waste one. Oh! Where did you go, you little douchebag? Alright. No issue here. Ah. 
So we hit this guy with a shot, and then whilst he's bouncing around, we can just chop him up, essentially. Not a bad play. Got you. You know what, if you move right next to me here. You know what I haven't found out yet? If a if um, dodge rolling is invincible, like can we roll through attacks? It would be very good to know. We're gonna find out on this first like real boss, I suppose. That guy just killed himself. Also good to know you can trick people off of the edge. <laughs> All right, we didn't take a single hit. Kind of simple. Combat's very, very simple in that sense. Fun. It's fun. It's in it's engaging and, like, simple. Like, it feels very light. And uh, you know what? I like that a lot in, in, a, com in, in a combat system. When, um... When you can... Oh, I'm open both of them, yeah. And we're right back here, then. Excellent. You know where we are. Um, I like that in a combat system where you can you, you understand it very very quickly there's not too much to it I'm sure we'll be introduced to more mechanics we are going to get more spells and things like that it said um, but as as just dodging and getting in and attacking understanding you know um, attack patterns and when it's clear to attack I mean we do have a hard attack we have a rolling hard attack we have a ranged attack but it still feels very light in that sense. Like it's a bit of give and take, in and out, in and out. Um, there was something somewhere that I didn't go into, wasn't there? Wasn't there? No. All right, well, I thought there was an area that we missed. I no, I guess not. Let's just go. I'm losing my mind. This is, I'm getting like a... Oh no, it was, it was down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew there was something. I'm glad I, glad I came back just to check out this door, see if there's anything we can do about it. Evidently not. Um, there's a bridge there. Hmm. It's just not open. Like, it doesn't even say inspect or anything, just locked. We'll come back in the future. Metroidvania is making me very paranoid. Like, oh, I've missed something. I'm going to go back. Sometimes um, I'll write stuff down, like in Cemetery Place. I know there's the one set of blue rocks to smash through. Oh. Um, etc, etc. But, like, this area down here I don't know how to get to, for example. We need to get that, like, circle tower to come up, I believe. Just stuff like that. I'd write it down, but... Like I say, it's not too difficult to go back through this area. All right, Alexandria from Final Fantasy is here to fight. Guardian of the Door. First real boss, let's say. Oh, I didn't have my any attacks. Hey, it is Alexandria. Look, we even fly. It's going to... Oh, my God. Okay, it's going to unleash Holy on us. If I recall, that's what Alexandria does. Making use of his ranged attack, I think, is is good. Because uh, it's just free damage. This game is very loud in my ears right now. I also quite like the music being nothing sensational. But it's still, it's kind of actually kind of somber. Get me out of here. Oh, oh, bang. Oh. That, this is just Alexandria. Alexander, I say. Alexandria is the city in Final Fantasy IX, isn't it? So the city is actually Alexander to summon, but uh, in Final Fantasy IX, it's the city of Alexandria. Is that what I think? I'm, I, I, it pulled me in then. That was strange. 
I thought that felt very weird. Um, we might get killed here. This guy doesn't have much life left. But that was a, that was a strange thing to happen. I felt like I couldn't move. Laser again? Yeah. Not oh, it's because he's pushing like wind out, of so just don't go close to it. Okay, I see. I see. I didn't realize he was doing that the first time. We used a hard attack when we rolled in then. That was good. I think they're making the best of a, of a difficult situation here. Yeah, that wind pushing us back. I didn't see it. Okay, let, let these rockets go out and not let laser happen. We'll come, and, we'll come and deal with him later. No damage right now. We don't need to get any damage in. Now! Oh, move! We beat him. Alright, deathless run. Let's go. <laughs> give me my uh, give me my souls. Give me your giant soul. If this crow comes and knocks me out again, I'll be very upset. I'm just like... Oh, no. It was just the guardian of the door. It wasn't even a soul we meant the all oh, the whole game is getting this one soul back from this douchebag crow. Are you serious? That's what it's gonna be, isn't it? That's what it's gonna be. Don't know what that thing is right now either. This way to the overgrown ruins. I guess it looks like we'd light it on fire if anything. This way to the summit. The whole game is gonna get him back this one soul that we took at the beginning from this absolute a-hole. What if it turns out to be us? from the future because you know we're also kind of a crow and the reason we did it is um to make to get ourselves stronger like force ourselves to go up this difficult like route here to make ourselves stronger so we'd be able to fight like the final boss or whatever you know like the so we're gonna get all the way away up here and we're going to fight ourselves at the summit. And then that'll prove that we're strong enough to ourselves. Because, you know, in the past, we tried to fight this thing and, and, and failed. You found some incense. The stuff smells very strong. I don't want to ruin what game that twist is from. But it's a super cool game. Um, and if Antares is watching this, I know he knows the game as well. One of the best. Or maybe not. Maybe we're just going to be like, are you going to straight up steal our souls like this, dude? Send them back through the door? Oh, he's using them to open a door. Still could be us. Oh, hello, fledgling, Raycrow. Sorry about the crack on the head, but I needed that soul. You see, I was a reaper, just like you. Years ago, my assistant, my assignment evaded capture. It took many months to track it down to this location. Upon arrival, I discovered it had somehow passed through this door. Inconceivable. Do you know where we are, fledgling? Death's door. Ah, they did it. The end point for all life. I thought it was just a legend. As you know, all doors are powered by the energy of souls. Perhaps with a truly monumental amount of power, even this one could be forced open. Sadly, the soul I stole from you was not enough. I'm afraid our fates are very much intertwined now, fledgling. But with your assignment incomplete, your death is now an inevitability. Without the soul that now resides behind this door, you are trapped just like me. Well, thanks, douchebag. However, fortune may still smile upon us. This cursed land is hidden to the reapers. Somehow untouched by the laws of nature. The creatures here have the potential to live vastly beyond their years, growing even larger and more powerful. I know of three such beings on these islands, isles, whose combined soul energy could grant us the power to wedge this door open. To the north lives an old witch, obsessed with escaping the clutches of death. Beyond the forest to the east, a self-proclaimed king rules over the ruins of a flooded cathedral. And top the mountain to the west, a beast of untold years, primal and vicious, with no want or desire. I am truly sorry to have entangled you, fledgling, but in my advanced years, my body grows weary. Your path is your own now. 
Either venture into the wilds and reap those giant souls, or choose in action and suffer the same fate as this old fool. Well, I... I don't want to do that. I also didn't want to have to travel across the world and fight three beings of untold power. Thank you. I mean, that guy was on his way out, wasn't he? Like, that, that old man, he's an old man. Old man crow. He's almost gone, you know what I mean? He's almost gone with a flipping wind. But he's still pulled us in. How dare he. Could have just run out the clock, my brother. Could have just run out the clock. But no, instead you decided to pull in a young crow. Tall life ahead of him. Okay. You, I mean, it looks like there was a secret behind there, didn't it? It looked like it. It really did. Um. Huh. Alright, well, we can't go that way. So, I guess we're going to the witch. Going to the witch. We, how did we beat that boss? We played very, very diligently. In regards to understanding how the boss worked, using his ranged um, abilities as much as we could, not really having to um, using his ranged abilities, going in to attack essentially just to uh, recharge our ranged abilities. Because getting too close is very dangerous. But because we had the ranged abilities, it allowed us to uh, to get in, get a few hits. But then back up and still be doing good damage because currently, obviously, like I said, it's our melee and ranged attacks are the same damage as, well, as far as we can tell. Um, as far as we can tell. Ooh, you little bugger. That was sneaky. All right. Well. Both lights are on now. Yeah. Um, what do we upgrade first? Do we want to upgrade his ranged attack first and rely on that? Oh, hello. Um, and actually rely on that or do we want to upgrade melee and be a bit more aggressive? Or, or just assume that, you know, that we also fighting enemies and we're probably going to be more melee focused with normal enemies? It's a good, it's a good question. We do want to upgrade both, obviously. And we will upgrade them both together. We won't go like, let's go all in on melee, let's go all in on ranged. We'll be doing like, melee, then ranged, then melee, then ranged, or, or whatever we need to do. Uh, but that seemed like, seemed like a decent strategy, to be honest. Unless the enemy's really fast and we don't have a chance to charge up his ranged attacks. We've also got to remember we're going to get some magic abilities as well now. So far, everything we've busted open, like crates and stuff, has have yielded absolutely nothing. So, I don't know if it's worth it to still do this. It seems like it would be. Oh, look, a teapot. It seems like it would be. But I can't say for sure. We haven't found anything yet. Now this, this is how we do this. Yeah, I've played Zelda before. Uh, burn your weapons and spread joy. Estate of the Urn Witch. Urn Witch, that's cool. All these statues with urns. That's why we're destroying them all. Hmm. This is very relaxing. Like, it's not too... Saw the exit then. Um, not too challenging so far. Just... Nice. If that makes sense. Like, I enjoy being in this world. This is the, uh, this way to the Urn Witch's Mansion. Uh, and you know what? It's something I can play... To get across there. I'm sure we'll get, like, a dash or some... Uh, like dash ability, magic ability, eventually. Uh, activate the door. Well, oh, that's like the bonfire then, I suppose. We can go back home. We should do, because we'll upgrade his melee ability.
We do have two seeds. Once again, though, no reason to um, no reason to use the the plant here if we don't need to. We can take it further with us. Okay. Melee damage and reach. That's pretty important. But this charges um, our. This just charges both attacks. And speed at which melee attacks can be chained together. So I can go tap, tap, tap. So I think I actually want this one. Even though it's not more damage, it, it is kind of. Because if I can fit in a third attack, um, that's an extra you know attack of damage. But also, it will recover me an extra arrow. So that means an extra ranged attack as well. So I think we're thinking about this pretty well. Next time we will do damage. We'll upgrade all of them before we start upgrading you know, another one again kind of thing. I don't know how we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, hello, my beak-faced fellow. It's quite unusual to see one of your kind upon these aisles. I imagine you must be here for a sword. Not me, I should hope. Anyway, it seems our path has intersected at an opportune moment. You may not have noticed, but I have been cursed with an unusual affliction. Alas, judge me not by the shape of my head, but by the deliciousness of the soup inside. Oh, my God. Hot head. <laughs> Where are my manners? I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance, Big Face. Oh no! <laughs> Careful! It would seem that my journey has reached an impasse. I haven't been able to overcome the obstacles ahead and unlock the Iron Gates. If you would help me move on, I should be indebted to you and we could push forward together. You have got it, my weird head friend. Uh, there are many obstacles ahead, Big Face. Curiously, there appears to be some kind of kinship between the sealed gates and the unlit lanterns. Thereabouts. Yeah. Once again, we need that like blue attack. Once again, we need that. Oh, maybe the blue attack is is this. Ah, there you go. Okay, it's still three hits to take out these boys. Can I kill him with it? Yeah, that uh, we got him. Hey, if you're close by, I'm just gonna pop, 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 pop. Five hits for you. Love that. Pop, pop, pop. Giving my arrows back. Read the Garden of Peace. <laughs> Looks like it. Oh, they're arches. Very scary. Yeah, not, not. Dodge these. We'll knock this open quickly. Four, five, and we'll hit you just to. Well, I, I said I was gonna say to stop you from shooting anything at me, but you already did that. One more. There we are. All right, we're doing well. You're scaring me, you. One. Get your shot. Oh. Got ya. I do like the little uh, one attack on you. Yes, Gambuff. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Alright. It's a lever. A lever. Whatever you want to call it. Alright, well, that's Pothead happy, I'm sure. One area down. My friend. Most impressive. Now make haste to ignite the second lantern. So, we did... <clears throat> we do have these pots to explode these, like, blue walls or whatever. These shiny blue walls. But there must be a way for us to do that without the pots as well. Because the other walls that we saw didn't have... Didn't have that. Tap, tap. We'll do this whilst you're still over there. Yes, I, I need to recharge again. Alright. And then we need to send an arrow that way. Which I do have. Oh, tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. And we'll tap, tap, tap. Alright. Making quick work of this entire game so far, huh? 
Yeah, what I'm saying is, uh... Set you on fire? It actually works. I was checking. I was checking. It did work. It just did one extra hit of damage, as far as I can tell. Um, because it only took us three to kill him when it usually takes five, but because we're hitting with a flame arrow, I guess it doubled our damage. Um... Get the Garden of Joy. Still don't need healing right now, so we'll keep a seed with us. Um, pop you. We'll pop you. I will need one more hit of an arrow. Right now. Thank you. Um, good, we're all done. One, two, three, four, five. All done. Let me just uh, open this. Pothead will be most pleased. Oh, we got green seed. Da, 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 da. It's a very lovely looking game. It is just, like say, nice just to be in this world right now, to be honest. I uh, am very much enjoying it. I feel like those things on the ground, the circle things, are teleports for some reason or something like that. I don't know. What do I get in there? There's a green seed in there on the floor as well. I should go pick up. You see, I can't see. It. There's no way to get there. It's got this. It's strange. It's just no way to get over there right now. As we can, you can go through the trees. Oh, that changes. Well, that changes everything. That changes absolutely everything. There could be loads of secrets that we've missed out on here. Ooh. Good, 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 good work finding that out. Um, let's go back through this whole chuffing area. But yeah, no, I think I like this. I'm not having to read too much. I'm not having to. I don't know. We're not. We're we're, we're into the game, but we're not like. I can play it in a very relaxed way. Elder Souls, Eldest Souls was very much, uh, it was a bit crazy, wasn't it? Let's be honest, it was a little bit crazier, um, from the very beginning, both in terms of difficulty and, uh, pace, like we had to be straight away, you have to be doing some amazing stuff, right? So, these little secrets down here, we figured them out. Leads me to uh, to think that we've probably missed out quite a few secrets so far. Over here as well. Wondering if there's some law secrets or... Yeah, oh no. So maybe it is just a... Uh, yeah, maybe that is just a, uh, a tower that you can lift up and it'll like, let you get on top of stuff. But I don't know what the anchor means. This is cool. I'm sure there's other secrets as well to do with, like, fire and things like that. Like, using the fire in a different way to... Hmm, look, you see. How do I get to that one there? Go, can't go around the back as far as I can tell. But there is that circle on the ground. Which does make me think that it could be a teleport. But... We will just have to wait and see. Find out. We're all good here. Yeah. Alright. Let's move on. We've got 100 souls extra. Nothing to scoff at. Hey, pothead. Hurrah! We can now venture onward, my steadfast companion. First, we should grant ourselves a moment of respite. Come, sit with me a while. It's very, yeah, very relaxing. Charm. It's this whole game. I feel like I can just... Ooh, you know. Just kind of melt into it. Some games I'm screaming, I'm shouting, I'm like, ah, I'm playing super fast. This one I can feel, I can play it. A friendlier pace, let's say. As I mentioned upon our meeting, I was not always quite so earthenware in appearance. A strange curse was visited upon me by the wicked old lady who resides in the mansion beyond these lavish gardens. I imagine you are here for her, are you not? Surely her soul must be swollen and ripe for the reaping due to her unnaturally extended. Yes. 
I desire naught but to confront the old witch and request she undo her ceramic deed and restore me to my former handsome self. I was quite the looker, you know. Soup. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so be it. Let's push on once more. Alright. Some projectors can be deflected with a swing of your sword. Interesting. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Go around here. Hey, yo. Gotta love that. Really? That's how you make... That's how you get souls in this game. Like, fighting enemies is nothing. You just don't get any souls at all, barely. It really is finding these secret little red um, orbs and making uh, the most out of them. Oh, I'm just knocking them for 10. One, two, three. Nope. He hit me, a little monster. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure this this garden here area is cleared up first. I assume we can't go any further. Hey, there's Pothead. Oh there, my friend. Uh, I would make a good statue, would I not? <laughs> you would indeed, sir. So here we are. The edifice may look unassuming, even be calming. However, keep your wits about you. Untold dangers await us inside. Let's dive from the precipice of adventure and adventure the belly of the beast together. Uh, wow, we can just go in there, can't we? I mean, I'm not going to. That would be... I feel kind of suicidal right now. When we could... Um, we could search for some upgrades and perhaps... A magic spell before we get to the boss. We definitely want to go there. There's an enemy to kill here. Oh, hello, big boy. Oh my god. Wow. This could easily be his first death here if we're not careful. Oh my god. I mean, I, I went under that, I think. Right, I tried to do my uh, roll smash attack, so that is his first death. I tried to do my roll smash attack, uh, but he was not having any of that. So what we have to do is, is probably force him to uh, to attack us with that, you know, the running in attack. Where are we? Okay, so this is, this is we've already done this area, yeah. So we have to do everything again. Okay. Not so bad. I don't think... I don't think... Uh, the souls that we found shouldn't reset, right? I'll hit you so that I can kind of knock you into a stun. I just need to hit you once, but now you're flying in the air. It's not making it easier for me. There we go. Where the heck are we? Feels familiar. Alright. Feels familiar. This is the area we already got through. Kill both of those guys, so that's a one, two, three. If you miss that third attack, it's very scary. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have just run straight up here. This is where we needed to open the gates. Okay, that's why. Thought it was strange. Oh yeah, we needed to go. Uh, yeah. 
So we're gonna go over to the right and fight this big guy again. It is awkward if you die, because I feel like now... Um, it's not always gonna be... I missed again, I, I told you. It's very scary when you miss an attack on these guys. Um, I think I'll take him on again. Okay, you're a lot easier than I thought. You seem to be like really good at hitting me perfectly like that last time, and this time you don't seem so scary. Especially because you can, oh, very easily kind of just be tricked into standing still. Okay, very simple. 50 souls, not so bad. But then we go up here and we get an extra 100. That's what I'm about. Can go upgrade as melee damage. If we would so please if it would so please us. Hey, what are you saying? Uh the Garden of Life. Alright. Maybe there's a, a secret hidden life shard in here somewhere? Possibly. Hey buddy. Um, we obviously need to bring the fire all the way back down here. Oh my god, let's get both of these. That felt good. Got ya. Alright. Two, three, four, five. And there you are. One, two, three, four, five. Spin you around. One, two, three. And five. Got ya. I say it's not the most challenging game. That boss, that guy boss, that guy did beat us. But why did he beat us? I feel like he beat us because uh, we just didn't really understand how we were working immediately. I don't know what these are. This is something. It's like a, a hook shot or something like that. I don't know to like allow us to pull us across gaps. How do I get you set on fire? So I can set this on fire, so I can set one of these on fire anyway. No, maybe not. Feels like that would be the case, but maybe not. I don't think I have line of sights between them anyway, so... Maybe what you do is you get a homing arrow later on? Or a, an arrow you can use like a Metal Gear Solid Nikita? <laughs> right, where you can like control it. We're gonna go one, two, three on you. We're gonna shoot you. Shoot you again before you disappear. I missed. Shoot you again. You know what? Ah, oh, missed you again. Alright, well, you're dead now. Two, three. We'll kill this guy. One, two, three. Fuck you with an arrow. And we'll get his arrows healed up. Right. I do need to heal. I do need to heal, so I will be going to find that green pot down there. I didn't realize we only had one hit left. I thought we had two. But we do not, so... Let me get back out here. I think I just saw one, right? No? There was one very close by, I thought. Maybe we can go a little bit further ahead. Seems unnecessarily dangerous, though. Ah, boomerang. There you go. Rogue daggers. Okay, blades can speedily inflict damage on opponent. Death by a thousand cuts. You can equip them from the main. Ah, it's a new actual main, main weapon. This is from the Garden of Friggin' Life. So what's going to be from the Garden of Death? Right. Let's uh, let's go heal. We'll heal in one of these. It's like main area. Feels like there should be a healing pot right here before I go through those doors, but there isn't. Yeah. 
We found the green pot. And we can kill you two very easily. So no worries here. Yeah, scary. Um, let me see then. 0 0.8 damage, but we've got range is very short. Swing time's not much better, I feel. But, once again, if we are trying to focus on getting ranged attacks, this should give us more, right? Often favoured by the Reapers have been defected. Have I had my arrow on the screen the whole time? No, 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 no. Only shows up in the menu for some reason. We'll try them out. I don't see why we shouldn't. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that confused me. Because, obviously... It's not one, two, three anymore. It's it's like that did confuse me <laughs> straight away. Getting killed for this, um, but I think it's a good idea. I feel like there's a weird, there's a pattern here. The family tomb. We need to do something with those pots. The garden of love. Hmm. Interesting. There is a pattern that we need to that we need to copy to that. I'm sure of it. Huh. Where could we find the pattern? Hey, we found this. This one was uh, very short. It's over here. I'm going here. Around here, back into here. Oh. Hey. See, we got the other shrine this time. The uh, the extra attack, right? Like, it's not stamina so much as... Uh, what did say? It was like dexterity, right? Magic crystal. Ah. Thank you. I feel like we've been, you know, we've been playing an hour. Oh, that's going to be the end of this video, actually. We've been playing an hour, and we've only found two shrines so far, and they've been of different things. So we need another six if we want to upgrade, you know, each each one of these just once. Which is a little, uh... A bit of a scary thought, like we haven't really made much progress, I feel. But let's, uh... I'm going to call this one there. I'm going to run back around. Uh, maybe we'll run... We'll go back through the door and upgrade something, and then I'll call it. But I would very much like to learn the pattern. And I would like to know... I know we're going to get more powers and stuff, but I do want to know what kind of powers we're going to get. Hopefully we'll find out soon. I do want to know about lighting all this stuff on fire as well. Because look, there's very clearly these four things that we need to hit. But going over there as well, down into a thing, so it is very... Once we get some powers, we are going to have to start heading back to previous areas and stuff. There's so much to, to do. Getting a dash is... Or like, a, a way to dash is going to be massive, I feel. Or for, for progression. Go back to the door. But yeah, this... Uh... This family thing, this family tomb. Maybe it's just... Maybe it's about how fast you can do it. So like... So maybe we could go like, uh... No, that didn't work. I was trying to go down the entire line. One, two, three, four. It's like six, and then the first five come back. One, two. Or is it just I just wait and they all come back? No, they don't come back. 
until you've done at least you hit five of them. So one, two, three. It's the family tomb. And it's the it's the garden of love. Can we make a heart somehow? Like one, two, three, no, four. Just having those ones in the middle kind of look like a heart. Huh. Can we make a heart here? I don't feel like we can. Not easily. No. The Garden of Love. There's, there's got to be a better way to figure this puzzle out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go get his upgrade and we'll, uh, we'll just remember that that's there. We'll come back for it in the future. But I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying... Uh, I'm excited to see what this witch is all about. The first major soul that we have to take. Ooh. It's a very relaxing game. Very relaxing game. Look, those walls down there. We don't have the purple jars to explode with. Would you like to increase your combat abilities? Damage done. I guess let's just go melee. Which means, by the way, if we increase the strength, it's the more damage we do. This is now 0 0.8 and this is 1. No, it was already like that. So this hasn't improved at all, as far as I can tell. Um, shiny things. Respect. What does this mean? Incense of Atonement. Oh, they're just collectibles. Okay. Um, so, I don't know then. I don't know how that makes our thing stronger. And maybe it just means, you know, it says times one, right? But it's like damage times one, and that's damage times 0 0.8. So if our damage was one and now it's two... Now it's two times one or two times 0 0.8, you know, just like 1.6. That makes sense to me. I wonder if that's what it is. Don't need to do any of this. Let's just run, run, run. Hey, buddies. I'm gonna get out of here. We don't need to fight any of you. You know what? Why not? Four. Four attacks, but still fast. Still pretty fast. Six for you, which is pretty good. Uh, we only need to five before. We'll, we'll try with this. We'll try with it. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll guard the door. <laughs> I like this. Oh. All right, it's teaching us that we need to destroy urns now to get through. Of course, it's going to have a door right here, so we didn't have to go back and do all of that. We need to figure out which urns to break. Unlock, we don't have a key. Go up here. It's a very special door. It seems like it's gonna be the door to get to the boss. We have a lot of these seeds. I would very much like to be able to sell them for soul power, to be honest, instead of using them. Um. Talk. Living Reaper, Ancient Osprey. I hunger for souls. Hunger? Ooh, we can go in here. Whoa. We got a mimic here. Ooh. See another one. So we've got to destroy all of them in a room and find the enemy, basically. <clears throat> That's what I've learned from that. Um, blow those both up. Looks like there's a mimic in this one. Ah, it's going to keep sending stuff at me, I see. Interesting. Alright. 
we can't get up there right now. Ah, now we've got some verticality in the puzzles that we do. This is interesting. Ooh, this is very interesting. More of these. Send that across. Very nice. You know what? Chop you. Cross to there. Get the key. Before we just leave. Now we have a yellow key. Hey, you look like a soul. That's another soul up on there. How do we go up there? Can I get you from here? I can. Okay, so we are using this height. Interesting. There's three. And in here. Mayhaps. Stairs. I like this. This is getting to be a little bit more... Uh, the verticality to the puzzles, I just, I think is, uh, it's very interesting. Isometric puzzles like that. It just remind me, I don't know why, of, um, what game is it? Monument Valley? I know it's like a very different style of game, but still. Can I shoot fire through there? It's like web. I can. Okay. So there was a door I saw earlier that was like that. And now we know we can get through it. It's gonna change a lot. Can I push things or something? Not as far as I can tell. Ah, you wanna shoot that there? Yeah. Can I do something about these? The whispers are very creepy. Ah, you know what I've seen? We can go around. Oh, that's... Oh, I see. That's why the other one's up there. I got you, I got you. Another pot, you see. Another pot for healing. Um, I feel like we've barely needed to heal at all this entire game. We had to do it just several times. So there needs to be some enemies now, unless... Yep, smashing pots gives us shots back. Good to know. Um... I feel like I missed something in there. Oh my god, hello. So you don't go down with just any attack. Ah, you break his arms, and then he tries to eat you. <laughs> it's his tongue that you hit. Okay. We'll hit you with that, that seems good. Break his arms. You were easy. Once you under gotta understand him, you've got to understand the bosses in this game. Uh, bosses. The, you gotta understand the, the enemies in this game, how they function, but once you do, it's not super challenging, I'd say. Free the soul. It appears we've been abandoned here. I don't think anyone's coming to open the door. What the heck is that? Ah, uh, no, I see, I see. Yeah. One out of four. Jeez. Okay. Can I get back to that starting area fast? Doesn't look like it. Ah, this door, I just heard it open. Yeah. Oh my god! What the hell are you? Oh, it's the witch! Hello, dear. Quite unexpected to see a crow around this place. What's this been dealing this off? What brings an adorable fellow like you into my little house? What brings you, the witch from Spirited Away, into this game? Yeah, she knows now. <laughs> she knows now. We've given the uh, we've give away the uh, the element of surprise. 
feel like maybe we should heal now. I very much like to roll into that. I feel like we should we should heal because maybe it will this key now, right? Maybe it will allow us to heal again when we come back. The doll looks right out of place from the world. She looks a little like you beat face, or perhaps a trifle more imposing. That's what we mean about it. Because I can consume it, and then hopefully by the time we come back, it also has, like, blossomed again. And if not, we can always go through the door and then come back. There's a seed there that I have a seed. Um, let's go get the seed and then we'll fight that mimic. I can see you with your hand up. And uh... All right, they're all coming for me now. Hey, that guy doesn't even have an urn. Okay. I was looking at him more than anybody else. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, that's sad. You know, that guy had never had a chance. Yeah. Angle. 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 Get me the key so we can open up that third door. And uh, let's get on with finding this lost soul. Right. Wasn't I supposed to end this video? <laughs> and I didn't. I'm gonna end it right now. I apologize. I just completely forgot. I was supposed to end it like 20 minutes ago. Thanks for watching. This is Death Door. I'm very much enjoying it so far. Um, I'm gonna play it through to the end. Hopefully before I have to leave for the UK. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.